Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a look and trying and testing the brand new Huda Beauty Brown Obsessions. Now this is the toffee palette and we also have the caramel. So we've got both toffee and caramel. Now she came out with three different Brown Obsessions palettes. Toffee, caramel and chocolate I believe it was. These two are the ones that caught my eye the most so I just had to get them. Today we're going to be doing a look with the Toffee Burn Obsessions palette which is this beautiful palette here. Now just look at the yellows and those browns and those shimmers, absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to do a look using this palette. I'm just going to quickly do my brows, prep my eyes and then we will get into it. So I've just gone ahead and done my eyebrows with the Huda Beauty Balm Brows Pencil and then I went in with the P. Louise base in Rumour 2 um, all over my eyelids just to prep my eyes for going in with this colour here. Let's start off with this beautiful half. This is almost like borderline yellow and orange so it's kind of like a burnt orange with yellow in it that's what it kind of looks like to me so let's go in with this shade here and we're just going to put this all over hmm. look at that pigment okay that's a really nice shade actually I like that. It's a very natural shade and you can see how it's literally just blended in so seamlessly and nice and it's got that nice pigment to it as well. So I'm just buffing and blending that out all over and one thing I love about these small palettes as well is that there's a mirror which always comes in handy like I feel like this is the kind of palette that you could just take on holiday with you if you were like a weekend trip or a short trip or whatever um, and you could literally just put this in your bag and it's so easy and you can do so many different looks with this as well so I feel like I feel like it's pretty handy even traveling like if you're if you want to if you're running late you're on a train or whatever and you want to do your makeup a little palette like this is just perfect to take with you to do it. I'm now just going to go in with this nice brown shade here and I'm just gonna literally do that underneath where I've just put the first shade so just slightly underneath now you can see how that one's slightly darker you can see that coming through there it looks really nice this this is really pigmented you know that really nicely pigmented I'm loving it when I'm blending this around I'm just going to take it out slightly and if you feel like that line is getting too sharp then get the first shade and use your blending brush and just blend that edge out just so it's nice and seamless and it's not a harsh line see look how nice that's just blending out there now what I'm going to do, it's not complicated, but it's just a little bit of a trick that I've been doing recently that I've actually enjoyed doing so much. Um, and I feel like it just creates like, it just makes your look stand out a lot more and it just looks everything, it makes everything look a lot cleaner and sharp, which I've been absolutely loving. So I'm taking a cotton bud and I'm going in with my Revolution Removal Spray. We're going to spray the cotton bud. And then we are just going to clean up this here. So we're basically cutting our crease but still keeping as much of that of what we've already went in with at the top. So we're just cutting it. I'll show you guys. And I'm just taking it around. Now with this technique you do have to go in a few times. So the other side of the cotton bud now. See, look how nicely that has just cleaned up. Make sure that it's all 
symmetrical. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So you can see that we went in with a lighter shade at the top, then we went in with a darker shade. Now we've cut that out. Okay, so both sides have been cut out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my P. Louise base and I'm basically going to pack that all over my lid again up to where we've cut the crease. So up to that dark line, that's where we're going to do it. So we're just going to Now, just make sure that you do take your time with this as well because you don't want to have to restart the whole um, look again. Just taking, and I'm just taking that all the way out. Look at that nice sharp line that we've got there now. Just going to do the other side. Okay, so now you can see we have both sides cut out and you can see that it's nice and sharp. I'm now going to go in with this yellow shade and we are just going to pack that. Onto our lid. This is a beautiful yellow shade, it's actually so nice. I don't know why, but in the palette I didn't think this yellow was going to be this bright, but it looks so nice and it actually is really nice and bright. So this brush I'm using is the Zoeva 222 Lux All Over shader, so it's literally perfect. You can see it's literally just a big brush and you can just pack it all in like this. It's so, so easy to use. And I've also got this brush which is the detail shader. This is the 237. So what I'm gonna do, i just put some product on that brush. This is it here. It's literally a tiny version of this. So we're gonna go in and get as close to those edges as possible so that it's all nice and filled in. And this is why I prefer doing my eye makeup before my face because I like to just, I know it's messy, but I like to just bring it out as much as I can and then I can just wipe it off and clean it up afterwards. I, f I just feel like it's so much easier to do. So I'm just going to get makeup wipe and just clean this up. So it's like we've got a yellow winged liner. I'm actually loving that. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this lovely gold. It's not only gold, so let me show you. It's literally got bronze, gold and light gold in it. It's one of those like double shimmers that she's been doing lately. You can see it here much better. Look how it's got like a brown gold through it and like a light gold. I'm loving that. Should I just put it on top? Okay, let's just put it on top. Ooh. This is beautiful. This is the right choice putting this on top. Look at that shimmer. Look how beautiful that's looking. Okay, I'm just going to go in with my smudger brush. This is the 226 smudger brush by Zoeva. Just so I can get as close to those edges. Oh, look how pretty that looks. This is such a pretty shade. Like, I thought more brown more of the brown gold would come through but look how nice it's just sitting on top it almost looks like it almost looks like a wet gel eye look i am obsessed i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and do my full face of makeup and then i will come back hey guys so we are back with the final look now i have i'm loving how this has turned out went in with the huda beauty legit lashes mascara and i'm just so obsessed with this mascara i literally cannot explain it just look at the volume I, i'm i'm literally loving it this is one of my favorite mascaras i love it i'm loving the brown yellow and gold vibes i'm just absolutely loving how this look turned out how the palette performed as well absolutely amazing like the pigment was there and not only the mattes but the shimmers like i am obsessed the brown obsessions has got me obsessed. I am loving how this has turned out. Let me know what you guys did think of the look that I created here today. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the brown obsession palettes as well. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.